How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. I shot this commercial entirely on my iPhone. And here's how I did it. Alright, we are en route to the store. I have no idea what product I want to shoot. I'm kind of leaning towards skincare, and there's a lot you can do with this skincare product. Alright, so here's what I got. Um, I decided to go with a face mask. Alright, so I'm back from the store, and we've jumped to me having my first setup almost ready to go. It's a mint and lemon mask, so big shocker, we're gonna be incorporating, you guessed it, mint and lemon. The overall feel that I want for this is refreshing. Basically everything you wanna feel when you're using skincare products. I will be shooting everything on my iPhone 12, and this thing shoots 4K 60, I believe, and also slow motion at 240 frames per second and also at 120. So we're gonna be alternating between those two settings. Now keep in mind, while I am shooting on an iPhone, I am using some pretty solid lights. What quality I'm lacking for on the video side, I am making up for a little bit with the lighting. So if you're trying to shoot something on your phone, it is important to have good lighting. But if you actually would like me to try and shoot a video with like, household items and no professional gear whatsoever. Let me know because that might be something pretty interesting. But without further ado, let's dive into our first shot. So right off the bat, I have a rectangular softbox hitting the product from above. This just creates even overhead lighting. Then underneath, I have a hardware light hitting the backdrop to add a little bit glow to the background as you can see. Then I added a little bit of a background glow, which will make the product have some highlights on the side in the back there that'll make it look nice. And then I'm drawing a huge blank on what this type of softbox is called. This is my final hero shot. So I try and get the hero shot first and I'm gonna add some lemons and maybe some mint to the scene and also maybe some water. So I'm trying to figure out how to add a little bit more movement so it's not just a stagnant shot. So whether that's the water moving or my camera moving, but I'll keep you posted. We're gonna figure that out. Now I'm gonna add some water. Also gonna add a little bit of water droplets to the product. So I'm gonna shoot this shot in 4K 60, that way I can slow it down, but we still get the quality of 4K. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. I just ran and got this dropper that I realized I had from a skincare product. So this should work perfectly for doing an individual cinematic drop of water. I'm just gonna grab a close up of the label. All right, now that we have that first shot done, I really want to uh, try a little visual effect with this. I'm gonna have the product and I'm gonna touch it with my finger and then it will turn into two lemons stacked on top of each other. This may or may not work and it's all based on positioning and making sure that I get the cut right. Now that I am done with that, I actually want to try to show the actual product, so the actual color of the mask. So I'm going to open this and squeeze it out onto my finger. We'll most likely be shooting this in slow motion at 120 frames per second in HD. So we'll get that. And then I'm going to go right into playing around with the product on a table. So trying to do some satisfying imagery of 
the actual masks, like those paint mixing videos. Uh, so kind of that look, but with my finger. While we are filming this, if you want to make things similar to this, no matter what level you are as a creator, I have a product video course that dives into all of this. From coming up with ideas, to pricing, to shooting, to editing. It's a great introduction to shooting products and being able to turn this shooting products into a way to make money. So if you are interested, go ahead and check out productvideoschool.com and I hope to see you guys in the course. Up last, we have probably the most challenging shot that I'm gonna try today, which is the fish tank overhead splashing shot, which in my mind, I wanna use as an opening to this. I think it will be the most eye-catching shot that I have, so I wanna put that up front to get people's attention. And my idea is that I wanna match cut the container to some lemons. So I'll do an overhead of it landing in the water, splashing in the water, and then the same with the lemons. Hopefully we can match cut them together. If not, we'll have that lemon shot to work with in post. I just finished shooting all of my iPhone footage. Quite challenging. I think the biggest challenge with iPhone footage is that you want it to not look like iPhone footage. So hopefully with some color grading, uh, some good editing, good music, we can draw people's attention away from the quality and onto the product. I want to emphasize the point that you don't need crazy expensive thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment to make a great video and make something that you could possibly get paid for, get clients from. Let's bring it into post and see how it turns out. That is it. Let me know what you guys think about how the video turned out. If you want me to make some more product videos with some sort of catch to it, let me know. Make sure you subscribe to the Olufemi channel and I'll see you guys next time.